Hey, it's Christina and Maker Exchange bringing episode 20 of video editing. Today we're going to be doing iMovie most popular tips and tricks. So first and foremost, you do need to have an Apple device in order for iMovie to work. So if you have either an iPhone, iPad, or a Mac computer, you can go down to the Apple store and download iMovie for free. So once you have it downloaded, you can always go to import, importing any of your audio and visuals, and then bringing it into your My Media. So here I've already downloaded what I wanted to use doing a morning, um, relaxing morning for this video. And I did download using Pixabay and double checking because whenever you want to, whenever you use somebody else's material, you want to make sure that it is copyright free and double check if they require any kind of credit. These particular visuals as well as audios did not require or ask for any credit. So double check that before you use somebody else's stuff. I've already imported all of the videos and the audio and the sound effects to the timeline to save a little bit of time. So first and foremost, the thing that you, that will save you a lot of time is going to be your shortcuts. So here is a cheat sheet so that you can see the numerous shortcuts that are available with iMovie. The most common are going to be command Z to undo. That is going to be probably the most used next to your space bar, which is pause and play. Next to that is something very useful is doing full screen is hitting command shift and the F key. And it will do full screen to get out. You can press escape. And again, space bar to hit that pause. Another one is going to be something that I like is playing from the beginning by pressing one button. If you press the backs or the backslash bar, it'll play from the beginning. And using the arrows, if you are working on a project where you need to go frame by frame or you're looking for a specific frame, hitting the left hand arrow will send you back one frame, hitting the right arrow will send you forward one frame. The up button is going to go back an entire editing point. So you can see as I hit the up button, it did not bring it back to the visual. It brought it back to the next editing point. And then same thing. If I hit the down button, it'll bring us to the next editing point. So those are going to be the most common shortcuts that you will probably be using. One of the tips that um, I've used a lot of is going to be fading in and fading out your audio. In addition to doing your J cuts and your L cuts, a J cut and L cut is basically just overlapping audio with your visual to create a smooth transition and using your fade in and fade out really allows that to happen. So in order to do your fade in and fade out of the audio, you're going to first click on the audio clip you want to fade and fade out, hover over that little dot. Once you have those two arrows on either side, then you can click and hold and drag. And then same thing with the fade out, hover over, click and drag. Just doing the fade in and fade out with a, even a slight overlap will make it a lot more polished in your final product. So I typically use a J cut or an L cut depending on the particular scene and how it's going to look. So here you can see that I do quite a few overlaps and because of the fading, you can have the pouring of the tea starting long before we even leave the scene of the forest with the birds. And then same thing again, we can continue doing the pouring of the cup of tea as we go into a walk through the forest. This particular 
audio clip, you can see it starts to actually go down. So it's getting quiet. And because of that, we actually took it a little bit further so that the sound would be what I wanted it to be until the end of the clip. And then same thing, you can see the, the footsteps go beyond. And the music we actually brought in right where the transition is starting. Because with this particular one, let me show you. At the very beginning, there is that high note that I wanted to capture inside the transition. So just doing J cuts, L cuts with your fade ins is going to really enhance your videos. Next, I would actually suggest, just like I showed you with this particular clip, is to try and sync your video with your audio and then trying to have the sound one frame ahead of what you're actually seeing. So that way what you see and what you hear are synced up in a way that it sounds the best. So let me show you what that will look like. And then here I actually edited this clip so that this sound would match the transition. Now, if there's a point where you actually want to make the sound quieter just in the middle, but you don't want to cut the sound, then we can just find that point where you want to start making it more quiet or louder. Click so your playhead is directly over it. Hold down your R key. And then again, we can see that yellow box show up in the arrow change. We're going to click, hold and drag. Now we can lower or extend the volume. That same technique can actually be used for your video. So if you want to do a slow-mo or a ramp up, then you can do the same exact editing. So here I'm going to find exactly where I want it to slow down. I'm going to hold down the R key, click drag. And then I'm going to go up to the speed, go to slow. And now we have two new editing points. And I can edit from both of these points. So this one is going to edit the first half. This one will edit the middle. And then if I move the bar over, we can edit the very end. So this will allow for a completely different look. And if we even shorten it more, it might, it's a little more noticeable. The next fun thing that we can do are title hacks. So if I go over to title, we have a couple of the titles that have elements added to them the Boogie Nights, the Focus, the Lens Flare, Pixie Dust, Organic Main. These are the best ones to use. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to bring in, we can do the Pixie Dust. So I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. So clicking on it, all I have to do is delete the title, backslash, and there you have Pixie Dust with no title. This is most fun and most useful to do pull focus. So I'm gonna remove the title backslash and start from the beginning. And then it's actually out of focus. If I shorten it just a little bit. And 
perfect. So these are just a few of the really quick, very simple tricks that you can do using iMovie to bring your story together, as well as making it look a little bit more polished. If you have any questions or if you're having any issues or if there's something more advanced you would like us to show you, go ahead and let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time.